are for Salvation Army. And so there's a rally that says they should speak, and this guy shouldn't be going on CBC lying and defending poverty wages. He said that one of the workers, only one of the workers makes 11:30 at the Salvation Army, but it's actually 18 workers, and so it's that's something that he would know as working for PR. Like you know, he's a clever man. Anyways, so we want to go hold him accountable for lying and disrespecting the workers. And what else do we have going on? So, um, I think that's it. Like we had a full moon party. Like last weekend, which was really fun, where we had some local bands come out and like people sang and we had some drinks and just like got together. It's like it's a very community oriented movement. It's nice. It's very nice. So the people that are involved in the movement have they gone from just being occupied to actually becoming a group of friends now? Uh, I'd say some of us have definitely become friends because you're around people, you you know stand beside your brothers and sisters in the street against a line of cops, and you get pretty close. But uh, other people come in all the time. Like there's a, a new person here today who is talking about organizing a summit about fa fair tax issues, and so she came and she started talking to us and wondering if we want to get involved and share resources. It's really exactly what we need in the system right now. If we want to make progressive constructive change. So how successful do you think you'll be able to be? without having the physical presence of when you were all camped out in Confederation Park. It's just really different. It's a different side of it all. We've gotten much more into uh, building up our own institutions again and so that we'd be more ready for it if it happens again. But the impact that that giant occupation had that it was happening all over the world is, of course, it was incredible. And But I still feel like it's being felt and I still feel like we're being heard. And so hopefully we'll be able to continue to uh, affect a little bit of change here and there. So you still think that your voice can be heard even without having people actually physically camped out? Of course, that was just one tactic and there are many tactics to be used. What are the reactions you get from friends and family when they find out that you're involved in all this? Uh, mixtures of support and not as much support. Some people don't like the fact that the cops will sometimes arrest you for being an activist and they worry for your safety. There's also the issue with the needle drop that happened around the camp that really freaked everyone out when 500 needles were systematically distributed around the perimeter of the camp. Some of the views and I don't know. So like it, it can be a little bit risky, and they acknowledge that. So I don't know. It depends on the person. How long do you see yourself being involved in the movement, personally? Hmm? Well, it's been. To this movement is just the most recent culmination of like a struggle that's been going on forever. Pretty much since the Free Trade of the Americas Act went through and everything went to hell. And um, we're, I'm, I'm planning on continuing my entire life, really. Trying to... <laughs> resisting, you know, and uh, trying to make something better. Hey, uh, can I just grab the spelling of your name one more time, just to be sure? M-I-T-C-H.